Hey everyone, my name is Sean and this is Sean Stocks. Today we're going to be continuing talking about Clove, C-L-O-V. This is my 37th video on Clove. If everyone has been watching for the last 37 videos on Clove, I really appreciate it. You know, it's really cool to see this channel grow with, with Clove as well. And so um, right now we're vi getting very close, getting very close to having 2,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed and you watch a couple of my videos, you like the content, please, please do so. I really appreciate it. We're going to get started right away and jump into Ortex. In Ortex, we can actually see that the current short interest percentage of the free float is sitting at 21.27%. The short interest percentage change is only about a negative 2.01% from the previous day. So a little bit of a decline from the previous day for the short interest, but wow, that movement today, we'll talk about in a bit. Um, the cost to borrow average is sitting at 2.17% and the cost to borrow max is at 5.48%. If you look at the days to cover right now, we're at 0.68 days with a utilization rate of 81.15%. So great data as always to see from Ortex. Next, we're going to be jumping into the iBorrow desk where we look at information from interactive brokers. Um, data and as we can see that the fee is currently sitting at 1.3 percent and the available shares is 2,500,000 shares available to borrow and one thing that I do want to point out is again we're getting very or actually under the cost uh, under the fee before it did shoot up to $28 if you want to look at it we're right there is on is two percent three percent right before it shot up and right now we're at 1.3 percent i don't know you know if that's a good sign from that standpoint but to me it seems kind of like deja vu seems kind of like deja vu when it comes to that type of stuff next we're going to be jumping into twitter in twitter we're going to look at this interesting poll so you know on twitter there's this wall street memes and it says you know of the stocks with the high popularity among redditors and elevated short interest which is most likely to undergo a short squeeze next leave your vote below and feel free to comment and right now 66 percent of people chose clove or workhorse as their option and you know that is great to see because we know that clove has a ton of potential going for it and especially the movements today Ooh, great movements today okay we got some great news by the way the um, second quarter 2021 financial results was moved up. It was moved up to August 11th. And to me, when I hear that, that is pretty bullish. And if you look at this paper, you can actually see as well, you got great people, Travis uh, Johnson and Eric So from MIT. Um, they said, using novel earnings calendar, we show uh, that firms advance scheduling of earnings announcements dates foreshadow their earning news. But firms that schedule later than expected announcement dates subsequently announce worse news than those scheduling earlier than expected announcement dates. So because they moved it earlier, again, I am feeling good that they're going to announce some pretty positive information. OK, so this earnings report that we're coming up on uh, by August 11th, by August 11th is what it said. Um, so we're very close. And still, remember, we got all those options um that are going to happen um, by august 20th or not right they're either going to be um going or not right by august 20th so this is before nine days before that and so hopefully this can be another good catalyst for the stock to push those options in the money and get those to exercise as well next we're going to continue you know talking about options um, as we can see right here for this week, for this week, especially with the movements up um, that we saw today, we got a few options that are actually starting to get in the money. And right now, I think the, the cost is at, at, in the after hours is nine, or the price is in the after hours is $9.36. So over that $9 mark. And you can see the volume and the open interest. So a lot of options were traded around today, but the open interest is $18,562, uh, 562 
for um, open interest uh, for the $9 mark and then 16597 for the $10 mark. Right now, before we hit the after hours, we got the eight, seven, six, five, four, three dollars um, strike price that are in the money. Um, and there's a lot of people out there that went really far. Um, and just you know, just a little bit of the word of advice: if you're going really far, really soon, if it's unlikely for it to hit, now it very well could, right? But if it's unlikely to hit, and you're going that far, you know, out of the money, um, you know basically you're just giving free money away to hedge funds because they're the ones that are selling those to you. Um, so usually it's a good idea to stay kind of in the money on things or at least be at least closer. So probably like, you know, I would be shocked if we hit, you know, the 1950 or if we hit, you know, $20 and stuff. And so, uh, yeah, that is my only qualm about this, I would say. So keep that in mind. Um, next, we're going to be jumping in to Ape Wisdom to see the trending stocks on Reddit in the past 24 hours. And as we can see, we had a big move up. We had a big move up for Clove. Right now, we are in second place, right, where we have 532 mentions, an increase by 186%, 3,651 upvotes. And we go into it a little bit more. We can see the overall sentiment has jumped. I believe last time it was 62%. Right now it is sitting at 70%. We got some keywords out there: calls, buys, up, clove, so five more, wish, back, moon, um, puts, bag, okay, like holders, and off. Okay, so a lot of nearby words on there. Some are good, some are bad. But at the end of the day, I still believe you know that where we're at under $10, we are in a good spot because we're right around that price target for analysts. We're under the list price of $10, and we are going to hopefully see some great news with that earnings report moving up a couple of days. So overall, I'm still pretty bullish on this stock. And so next, we're going to jump into Weeble. And if you like this video so far, please smash that like button for me. It really does help. Also, subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications on my upcoming videos. And we will, we're going to talk about the price movement of the day. As you can see, we opened up at $8.40. It is above the previous close of $8.35. So we're already opened up pretty strong, okay? Throughout the entire day, basically, we stayed above the VWAP. So in the morning, we rose a little bit up to $8.76, pulled back a little bit down to $8.40. And then we had a constant like climb up, climb, climb, climb up to the intraday high of nine dollars and um, nine cents right there. OK, after that, we did pull back a little bit and we closed off at eight dollars and eighty eight cents. So we were very excited in the discord. OK, we were very excited in that Reddit discord. We were very excited in that subreddit to see this great price movement. And when it went over nine dollars for the first time, and it feels like a very long time for it to go over nine dollars, we were ecstatic. OK, because that shows very good signs for this stock and shows that we probably hopefully won't hit in the seven dollar range for a while. OK, or ever even going forward, hopefully. And and the after hours, we saw crazier movements. We went up 5.41% in the after hours, and we hit even at $1.9.65. So when you look at that, again, very strong movements, very, very good ending for the entire day, and staying above the VWAP, that is super, super bullish. And when you look, when you look at the volume for the stock, for the day, we had 30.19 million, which is a little bit more than the previous days that we've had. And also, um, also we are well under the average volume of 54.10 million. So really high momentum. You know, you wonder whether tomorrow we'll get even more volume because people are, you know, right now we're hitting hype zone. Okay. We're hitting people that are saying like, Hey, you know, I, you know, I'm getting FOMO. I want to jump in on this train before it takes off, you know? Um, and 
I hope it does happen, right? And we could see even, you know, even hopefully the 10, 11, 12, $13 range by Friday. That would be pretty insane. If this keeps up, we might see it, right? No guarantees though. I, you know, obviously I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that, but if this keeps on going, right? At this amount of momentum, we could see big movements leading up to the end of the week. So I'm very, very excited to see what happens. When we go to the order flow, we can see that there actually was more outflow than inflow for large scale orders by 0.61 million. And then um, as I mentioned earlier, we have a little bit more um, inflow than outflow for small scale orders. And then again, the same thing for medium scale orders, more um, inflow than outflow for medium scale orders. So definitely a good sign when we got the retail investors jumping in on this um, and continuing to build up the hype for this stock. And I think we will hopefully see some great news coming soon. Right now, you know, we have this little Weeble app. I brought up my phone right here um, and I have this Weeble app right here just to show you kind of what it looks like because, um, you know, in the app, you have extra stuff that are not available on the desktop, such as this comment section, right? We can see the comments. You can actually see that Clove is at number 72 in the popularity list on Weeble rankings. Um, and you get this stock sentiment, 90% bullish, 10% bearish, which is pretty awesome. And then if you go to the right one, you can actually see the analysis on the stock as well. You can see that analyst, you know, price target under the $10, under the $9 in the regular hours for today. Um, and of course we went very far up after in the after hours and below that you can see the positions cost distribution for the stock. Okay. And you can actually, so what this shows, and I'm going to pull this up and it says, you know, positions cost distribution assumes all free float shares were purchased and held by investors based on this assumption. The positions cost distribution analyzes the cost prices at which those shares were purchased, how these different price points are distributed at one time and changed on a daily basis. And as you can see, a lot of people, the average looks like of uh, purchases looks like it's around the $18 range. So we got a lot of movement in order to pick up these fantastic people on our way to that high, that high, that 52 week high, hopefully is where we're going to get going very, very soon with this stock, especially when you consider the momentum of the day. And these features, of course, can be found in that Weeble app. And if you sign up using the link in the description or in the comment section, you can get up to $2,300 worth of free stock by only depositing $5. So check that link out in the description and sign up for Weeble. You get extra hours for trading 4 a.m. to 8 p.m. I traded stocks the other day really early on at like 5 or 6 a.m. And so um, it's definitely, definitely an extra benefit to use. And that extra range, it can be pretty useful, especially for situations like this where you want to, where it builds in the after hours and maybe you can catch it tomorrow morning before it goes up. Or if it dips a little bit, you can grab it in the dip early in the morning hours tomorrow. So definitely, definitely a great app to get. Overall, I love Weeble and I've been using it throughout my all my videos that I've been making here on clove and all my other stocks as well and so next we have the clove discord and the clove subreddit so right here you can actually see that um they were talking about a discord roundtable. it's official so if you like the stock if you like reddit if you like discord and everything you can get that great communication with anyone that is also invested get access to due diligences get access different posts, fun memes, fun communication with other like-minded investors. It's a great time and it's free, completely free to do. And it's through the subreddit directly. Um, so you'll see if you go to here, uh, the subreddit page, you just have to go and click the discord. They also have a Twitter as well. So check that out right now. We have 38.3 thousand members on our subreddit. So that is exciting. We have that momentum continuing and I bet if we continue to see more movement tomorrow and more movement on Friday up, we will be able to see even more members taking part of this great journey that we are all taking together. Um, but other than that, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And I hope as well that we have a great trading day tomorrow, you lucky people. Have a great night. Take care. Bye-bye.